one of the questions that came up in class was how do you graph example 1.25 on page 68 that had uh, two variables the uh, the length of word versus the uh, percent of total words that was that length so uh, the way that you would do that was uh, is to make uh, two data sets length which I have here one two three up to fifteen and then the second one we want is percent so remember the way that we are doing naming list now is we uh, we use these keys to go up into the heading column and I'm going to scroll over to here and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to enter in uh, percent there so I'll just uh, enter in P uh, C N T will be percent enter and then I will enter all the data into there so let me do that real quick okay so I've entered all my data making sure that the length matches up with the percent then what I do is I go to second stat plot and uh, they're all turned off so let me go to this first one here say enter let's turn it on uh, type is histogram now the X list is the lengths so I'm going to do a second stat and go down to my length so let's see where is that there it is length so that's zero length and now I'm going to go to frequency and frequency is going to be percent so second stat and let's see can I go up so I went up and there it is percent so I hit enter that's gonna be my frequency and then now I can graph it and uh, let's see let's do zoom stat and now I can see a histogram kinda of like the one that we made in class the only problem is that when you use zoom stat uh, it chooses strange numbers and uh, our rule is going to be we want to always use integers here so first of all our x min and x max we can choose numbers that are slightly bigger than our spread so our spread is 1 through 15 so let's make the min 0 and the max 16 and let's make the x scale be 1 remember the x scale is the bin size how wide each of the uh, the bins is in this case we want it to be 1 because we're comparing a one letter word to a two letter word to a three letter word so we don't want to lump different size words together so we really have to keep the x scale at 1 uh, the y min is the smallest y value so I'm gonna make that uh, minus 2 just so that my axis isn't on the bottom of the screen and my y max I'm gonna make a little bit smaller I'm gonna make 20 the reason it was so big before is because the bins were so big they were such a huge number where there's lots of words in each bin now that we made them smaller there's gonna be a lot fewer so now I'm gonna hit graph and now the histogram looks a little bit clearer than before we can see that uh, you know the one letter word there was uh, you know three 3.6 percent and then two letter words three four five six etc down up to uh, 15 14 to 15 where there's almost no words at all and we can see for sure that it's skewed left and that it's uh, and, and we can see that this area has the vast number of words in the three four five letter range so that's how you would graph uh, histogram with two variables